All right, guys, what is up? It's Mark AK Bravo Mark. Welcome back. Today we will be taking the dive and purchasing Cirrus. I've had uh, tickets to purchase her for a while, but I didn't really want to unless I was sure that I could afford the next character. And um, I so now I have pretty much enough to buy both. So I'm just gonna purchase her right now, and we're gonna get into a few games with her. Uh, I should have some runes for her already, so let's just upgrade those. All right, so it looks like we have her to about uh, level six everything else and level seven for well, nope, level six for everything it looks like. So hopefully that should be enough, and we're gonna go into some matches, and I'll get back when we're in the matches. All right, guys, what is up? It's Mark AK Broad Mark. Welcome back. If you guys just saw an intro clip. Uh, pretty much, I bought Cirrus probably a week and a half ago, and I did have some gameplay of her live, but honestly, when I used her, I really liked her character, and I felt like I wasn't playing my best because I just got her, so I wanted to get in a few matches and actually learn how to play her, and honestly, like, I don't know how people say she's a bad character. I love using Cirrus. She's so good in my opinion. The orbs are just so overwhelming, and like, if you could see, like, you can, um, watching the gameplay, you guys can check it out. I'm literally, like, you can spam the orbs, and it's like you always have ammo somehow. Like, that's how her character is just built. I don't know how it works exactly, but, like, pretty much you can spam orbs, use your reload, spam them again, and, like, by the time, like, you even get a bit of, like, matches going on where you're doing your 5v5s and your team takes out a few people and you're getting your damage in, it's like you pretty much can just always have ammo all the time with her and it's just really annoying for your opponent to deal with. Um, she's very good for locking down a certain area, especially with that. And then she also has her move where obviously she can turn invisible and she's immune to damage. And most of the time, I'm not even using it to escape. I'm using it to like get in and try to harass someone else. So like, um, I'm honestly liking her better as support than Maldamba. That used to be who I mained as a support. And now I'm thinking I'm probably gonna start maining Cirrus. Uh, she's just really good, honestly. I, I like her a lot. Um, a lot of people probably won't agree with me, but I'm, I'm really enjoying using her. Um, even on Frozen Guard, like especially, because a lot of people like to always just um, come in the fastest way possible that they think they can, which is usually um, would be on your right side when they're coming down. And I'll just spam it up there. And it's like you basically have to force your opponent to choose another direction or to just take damage. And um, a lot of people say like they're really easy to dodge, but once you just drop like the massive swarm of orbs, it just becomes really difficult for them because while they're dealing with that, they still have to deal with your teammates attacking them and stuff like that. The heal orb, it heals a lot. Like I didn't know it healed that much. Um, you just have to be really good with aiming it. Um, I guess that's what makes her a little more difficult than the other healers. The other healers, I feel like their heal is kind of like automatic. Like Ying, you drop her thing, you just have to walk to it. Garaki drops his, you either have to walk to it or he could drop it. It's a huge area that it covers. So does Pip. But with her, it takes a little more skill. You have to aim it. And um, honestly, at first when I used her, I think I prejudged her because I was like, these orbs are super slow. And I felt like even her heal orbs, I'm like, these are like so hard for your teammates to get like around and like near them but once you start using her a bit she's just like really good especially if you're you know, like you just practice with her a little bit but honestly um if you guys want to know how to use her um just like check out this and the gameplay that's going on in the background like honestly i would just say find an area that you know your opponent's team is going to be coming in a lot and you pretty much literally want to spam your attack, not in just a straight line, but you want to get it like moving um, around. So like it gives them a wide area of that they just can't really be in without taking damage. And then after that, you pretty much either have the, you're gonna reload with your um, reload button and then get in your three ammo again and do it again to just keep them out of there. It's really good for holding the point also, or you want to, pretty much turn invisible and it gives you the chance to rush in and finish off people um, anyone who's trying to kind of stay back like a Cassie or something that wants to stay a little back and still do their damage um, I think her biggest weaknesses honestly um, I would say probably like Kinesa and like Shaolin and stuff like that they were the ones giving me the most trouble when I've been using Sierra so far 
But besides that, I think she's like really good. Um, even characters like, because she has her outs, I think that's what makes her so good. That in one move where she could just turn invisible. Um, like usually you won't use that for no reason. Um, sometimes I do just to um, try to like gank people and stuff like that. But a lot of times you won't. So even characters like Sky and stuff, once they start getting their damage on you, you still have the chance to get out. But um, yeah, um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Tell me what you guys think below. Have you used Sirius? Um, do you think she's as good as I'm making her seem? Honestly, she's become one of my new favorites. Um, so far, I mostly use Sky and Tyra, but she's joining. Um, I think right now I'm trying to main probably four characters. I'm trying to, I'm trying to also main Strix, but uh, it's a struggle. Honestly, he's not um, easy to use by any means. Honestly, um, that pistol's really hard to use. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, tell me what you guys think below about the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.